Now, right, hello, fun, and welcome to my new Fallout 4 mini series of Journey to Ipswich, where today I'm excited to be starting up on this new world and quest and adventure mod, as it is the month of October, and this is apparently a bit spooky. So, uh, hopefully, we'll get some scares out of this thing, or at least maybe some uncomfortable moments. Who knows? Who knows? I'm looking forward to seeing how spooky this thing may actually be. And of course, this is another one of those mods from back in the day that I did never get around to, though for different reasons than the others we've looked at. Normally it's, you know, it looked interesting and I just didn't get around to it because we were doing other, even more interesting things. This mod, I could have sworn I did already, but I looked all through my channel and, um, no, no videos for Journey to Ipswich. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why in the world my brain thought that I had already done this thing when I hadn't. So here we are, and let's get started. So to get this whole quest mod going, once you do leave Vault 111, or of course any other time when you install this into the game, you will get a new radio signal here called the Hijacked Radio Signal. And this will start us on our hopefully spooky adventure. So let's click it and see what in the heck we're going to be listening to. Attention all scammers. Uh-huh. My name is Cal. Oh, hi, Cal. Have I got a proposition for you? I like propositions. How would you like to be knee-deep in cabs, tech, or hell, even cams if that's your thing? I mean, all sound good. You see, Poseidon Energy left behind more than a couple of run-down pre-war factories. Oh. There are caches hidden right under our noses, containing tech that would make the Institute's head spin. Oh, I like that. And you can bet that tech is worth a hell of a lot of caps. You would assume so, yes. So what do you say? You help me, I help you, and we make a fortune in the process, huh? What's, what's your part of the steel, though? Come me at my lab in between the old lake and the General Atomics Galleria in the north end of the Commonwealth, and we can talk details. Okay, so you have a lab. And I'm setting this broadcast to repeat. You didn't catch that first bit. Okay, excellent. Well, we now have... Let's just go turn, ahead and turn that off now. It's going to repeat. We now have our mission. An enticing offer. Investigate the radio broadcast. Now, I'm wondering what his side of this whole bargain is. I guess lab guy maybe doesn't have the, uh, you know, brawn to go out there and find the things who is sending us out as his mercenary. But intriguing. So, over here... Yeah, just teleport over to General Atomics Galleria, and let's see what this Cal was it? Was that that they said on the radio broadcast? Let's see what this Cal person has to offer us, and how it's going to take us to a place called Ipswich. And boy howdy, if this doesn't have Lovecraftian elements, I'm going to be real disappointed in this mod. I mean, you'd assume so with a name like Ipswich, and it's supposed to be a, a, a spooky new marshland world area for us to explore. You'd, um... You'd hope for some Lovecraftian things. Well, let's find out. Ignore the robots. Pass by the greeter. We already had to deal with you guys in one of the other recent episodes. Oh, boy. Good time having to go kill that guy up there. <laughs> All right, so he's out the back. Oh, boy. Take care of the Marlurks. Don't need them getting in my way of things. Perfect. Perfect. Oh man, also, I had to turn my headphones up real loud for uh, me to hear that signal. <laughs> and oh god, I need to turn them down now, because those gunshots were a lot louder than his voice on the radio. Which worries me that probably all the voice acting in this is going to be uh, low in volume, but let's go find out and head into Cal's field lab. Oh, thank god it was Cal. Excellent, excellent! Hi! Nice lab you got here. I'm gonna take hey, that. You're here because of the broadcast? I am. Up. Oh, yep. It's real low. It's real low voice acting. I didn't think about it when I was just standing on the roof, but um, well, I was curious. Curiosity. All right, I can work with that. Excellent. How would you like to make a load of caps? I mean, I'm always up for that. That is a very fun proposition. So here's the deal. I've got my lab set up here but I can't access the Poseidon Net servers without the proper credentials. Uh-huh. That's where you come in. Okay. I need you to head to the Poseidon Energy Turbine south of here and pull the login data off of a terminal there. Bring it back here, and I'll be able to bring up a log of Poseidon's hidden caches. Oh, hidden caches, huh? Well, what's this Poseidon Net? 
I'm intrigued to see what that is. It's the truncated version of Poseidon Network. Well, it's yeah, pretty much clearly. a database of everything they did. Neat. You should be able to access it from any Poseidon facility, but that substation is the closest and the least dangerous. Ooh, I like that last part. <laughs> Why can't you do it, though? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think my idea earlier was right, oh, but... Um, let me put it this way. That substation looks to be completely flooded. Oh, cool. And, uh, I don't know how to swim. Oh, you know, nothing to be ashamed about there. Nothing to be ashamed about. But sure, I'll do it. Probably best I go anyways. I've got the Aqua Girl perk, so, you know, I don't have to worry about that sort of thing, like drowning. So I'll do it. Let's make some caps together, Cal. Perfect. I'll make sure we're ready to go by the time you get back. Wonderful. Wonderful. I kind of want to see if I can get into his computer real quick. Also, he interrupted me while I was trying to loot. Oh, no, I got all the important things. Excellent. Let's check his computer. Oh, requires key. Dang it. Figured. All right. Well, as we load back into the Commonwealth, let me turn back down my headphones. I'm going to have to uh, make a note here. Hold on a minute. Grab a post-it. Make sure to adjust audio. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. All right. So we are... How far south are we heading here? Bit further than I thought. Cool. Let's roll. And, I mean, the map may say clear, but it's... It's probably not. <laughs> it's been so long, as per usual, since we've been to these places in the world, since we do so many modded things. And it's probably full of things again. That'll be Myrlurks galore, I'm sure. Eh, oh well, it'll be easy to kill. No, easy enough, at least. Oh boy, so how is this gonna get us to Ipswich? Hmm... Well, I guess it'll probably talk about some sort of great cache in another land that we'll have to travel to. That would make the most sense. Anyone around? Well, utility protector right up there. No worries there. All right, in we go. Let's go get this Poseidon net thing going. Retrieve the logging credentials. Yep. New things are going to be back, and it seems to be less important things. And I missed. There we go. All right, I don't even want to use that gun. Let's get out the Wretch's Authority if it's going to be all rad roaches in here. It wasn't all rad roaches! It wasn't all rad roaches! <laughs> okay, not the best gun to go with, y'all, but okay, let's... I committed. I made my choice. I mean, I could always change, but let's... There we, there we go. There we go. Okay, you know what? You know what? Let's, let's get back to a good gun. <laughs> there we are, Todd Meyerlark. Okay, and they're dead. No god except for you! Have a grenade! <laughs> P perfect, perfect. Alright, I don't know what word my brain was originally trying to think for there before perfect, but alright, let's roll with it. <laughs> oh, that's probably dumb to try and kill a rad roach with a grenade, but... Yeah, that's what we're doing. Go to here. I don't know why. I haven't used you in a bit. Oh, but yeah, no, never mind. There are definitely going to be more Marlurks in here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hello, Marlurks? Well, oh god, swim up. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Let's punch him that time. All right, we got a terminal. What do we have here? Just, yeah, access the net. Sure. Check that real quick. No connection. Established credentials not submitted. Access unlimited to uh, local PosidonNet documents. Well, Nautilus 3, clearly. Nautilus Model 3, vehicle. Nautilus Mark III is to be the prototype of the line of nuclear submarines to be manufactured and empo employed along the United States military via Operation Carrion. The Nautilus Mark III is outfitted with a tri-folded aluminum and lead sheeting, giving superior radiation shielding and depth resistance. This will allow the Nautilus Mark III to stay submerged up to 500% longer than the Mark II, nice, and sustain radiation 25 times more severe. Neat. Experimental battery design. Prometheus Model 1, 
Prometheus Mark I is a type of renewable power source that functions off of twin capacitors and maintain energy distribution at the microscopic level almost indefinitely. Because of this, the Prometheus series is forecasted to be present in later iterations of the Nautilus project. At this time and point in time, the Nautilus Mark III is outfitted with two Prometheus Mark I power sources. Neat. Okay, okay. Well, retrieve token. Got it. Return to Cal. All right. Oh yeah, we're actually we actually didn't load into another zone, so we can just fast travel. Beautiful, beautiful. I had to think about that for a second. I was about to say, okay, let's get out of the place, then fast. No, no, no. We never went in to another dungeon. Wonderful. All right, and we got ourselves the token. Excellent. Let's see what Cal can do with this thing. And, you know, make some caps. And find a way to Ipswich. I just, I want to get to the spooky. <laughs> Alright. In we go. And turn back up the headphones so I can hear. Oh, wait, no, wrong side of my headphones. <clears throat> there we go. Hey, buddy! <clears throat> You're back. Any uh -huh. luck? Uh, yes. I didn't agree to roaches. Ah, eh, yeah, no, here you go. It's just, it's just go with it. Yeah, here it is. I got the token. Excellent. Thank you. For your troubles, and mm -hmm. as a thank you, here's a bit of spending money. I appreciate well, that. Let's get this show on the road. Turning caps, though. Eh. Just hang tight for a bit. This should only take a minute or two. All right, so to the computer, I guess. So the data you recovered will act as our security token. Yeah, yeah. With that, I'll be able to decrypt some of these config files and pull off a pin. Okay. Neat. A pin to and what, though? Cool. So now we need an interface. That pip boy should do. Wonderful. All right. Looking good so far. I've spoofed your pip boy to work as an authenticator for this connection. Don't worry, I'm not gonna break it. You better not. I like my pip boy. Now well, I prefer some of the older models, but still. And we're in. Let's see if we can. Can what? I'll be damned. Looks like there's a big one after all. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One second, that, uh... That can't be right. Oh, no! What have you done? Oh, hell. Uh-oh. Looks like our little treasure hunt just became a massive undertaking. Oh, great! This cache we're looking for, the good one. It's in Buzzards Bay. Yay! That's where we're going! Okay, completed an enticing offer. So we're gonna get a new quest here, do we gotta talk to Cal again? Also, boy, I just noticed my health. There we go, inject with stim. So we didn't get a new thing, did we? We're gonna have to talk to him. Really was hoping we would've just continued that conversation. Hi, Cal! Hey <sighs> Buzzards Bay, of all places. You know it, huh? Well, this puts a damper on things. Why? What's, uh, yeah, what is Buzzard's Bay? In a word, a hellhole. Neat. It's been torn apart and put back together by war more times than I can remember. Each cycle, more brutal than the last. Oh, fun! But that's something we'll worry about once we're there. For now, we need a way to get there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what is the problem, though? Buzzards Bay is, or was, unstable. These days, it's probably on the verge of imploding. Between the Federation, the Buzzards, New Falmouth, and the Tribals. Who? It's a mess for everyone caught in the middle. Oh my god, are we going to be able to meet yeah, all these people? I've even heard rumors of Atlanteans or something. What? I'm not sure how accurate that might be, but considering the chatter I read on PosidonNet, let's just say it's a possibility someone's taken a stab at our treasure. Ah oh, crap! Ah oh, man, can't we uh, can't we just walk though to get there? I'm assuming no. Gonna Unfortunately, no. We'd have to go far through the glowing sea, and no amount of radiation shielding could keep you safe for that long. Mm-hmm. Well, what do we do then, Doctor? Wait, is he a doctor? I mean, it's well, Cal. we can't get there by land, but we can sail. There's a canal running from Cape Cod Bay to Buzzards Bay, but it collapsed decades ago. Uh huh. I've heard about some crazy ferryman from away south, but that was a couple decades ago. He's probably dead by now. Oh. 
Our best bet is something that can navigate the canal's debris and withstand some serious punishment. Thankfully, Sidonet provides. There's a nuclear submarine. <gasps> the Mark III! Three, docked up north of ways that would suit our needs. So we're gonna From take a whole nuclear submarine, huh? Combat, but its AI core went dark a couple centuries ago. It's probably been weathered, but we'll figure something out. So what do you say? You still up for an adventure? I mean, I am, but... Okay, yeah, first off, is it even gonna work? But let's talk about the other problems here. Seriously, if it's just docked there and no one's taken it and used it in all this time? I mean, there might be raiders on it, who knows. And we're gonna take a nuclear submarine down a canal? I mean... Canals aren't typically, like, deep and subs are, you know... I mean, yeah, they can ride on top of the water, of course, but a lot of it's under there. <laughs> Even when they're surfaced. So, not really meant for shallow water. Shallow water is a bad place for a sub to be. Well, uh, will it even work, though? I'm probably going to have to fix something. Oh, yeah. It was built to withstand the pressure of deep sea travel and nuclear devastation alike. Yeah, but not 200 freaking not years of neglect. Into it. It's outfitted with numerous security measures. Oh, great. In fact, the whole sub serves as a sealed tomb to its crew. Oh, wonderful. Assuming they were on there, I guess. Yeah, they probably are. They're probably all feral ghouls. Well, we're going. That's the spirit. I'll start mapping everything out. If you need to stock up on gear, now would be the time. This is going to be a long trip. No, I'm good. I got stuff. Oh, is this going to be... Hmm. Hmm. First off, loved that animation there. <laughs> Second off, our oh man, is Ipswich gonna be like one of those sorts of uh, you know places like we've done where it's nice to have camping equipment? Because I don't have the camping mod installed right now. Oh well, let's roll. I got bullets and meds. Hi. Good to see you again. Found some old maps on Poseidonet, and I think I've figured it out. Nice. So the plan is we'll walk north to a little place in Linfield and commandeer a boat. From there, we can take the Ipswich River all the way to town. Once we're actually in Ipswich, we can work on getting that sub up and running. Then we'll be ready to go to Buzzards Bay. So, what do you think? Oh. Well. Why Linfield? A few years before the war, a friend of mine, a guy named Felix, opened up a gas station in the middle of nowhere along the river. Ah. He eventually expanded his little operation into a makeshift marina. Ooh, neat. Not sure if he had the permits, but I know he had boats. Okay, My sounds good. Is that old Felix left one behind? So wait, we're gonna use a powerful, awesome nuclear sub to get down the canal, then steal a boat from an unlicensed janky marina to then go to Ipswich to then make it to the bay. <laughs> Tell me about Ipswich. I need to know more since that's where we are inevitably heading. It's been a long time since I've been there, but I used to work there before the war. Mm. Back then, it was a quiet little town. Probably still is. But it became a lot busier once Poseidon showed up. The residents weren't too happy at first. A lot of them thought Poseidon would turn their little town into something it wasn't. Oh. That changed pretty quickly. They didn't like us, but they did like our money. After a while, the dust settled and everyone was better off. Can't say the same for most of Poseidon's projects, though. <laughs> yeah, this Poseidon. Also, I don't think we're ever actually going to make it to Buzzards Bay. I just had a thought about this when I was reading the, um, like, comments and all on the mod page. That apparently this was meant to be, like, part one of a two-part thing. And considering this one is called Journey to Ipswich, we're probably never going to finish the plan to get to Buzzards Bay. <laughs> oh, we're not going to get to see the Atlanteans. Oh, sounds convoluted, your plan here, buddy. Real convoluted. Huh. I'm aware, but... It's our best bet if we want to make it there in one piece. Sure about the lands that. around the Ipswich River are dangerous, whereas the shallow water should be relatively safe. And the glowing sea will probably devour the both of us if we try to walk through the heart of it. Eh, Thus, I've been through there. This is our best option. I think it'll be fine. All right, works for me, and let's do this thing. Good deal. It'll be interesting to go back. I used to work for Poseidon, and Ipswich is where I was stationed last. In any event... Let's get going. I also just realized my little rant there about the Buzzards Bay thing probably being the part two I didn't mention, at least I don't think I did, that they never made it. So. 
<laughs> oh god, hey. where are we? You all right? We we're in Linfield. Out of it. Well, I just suddenly became in into Linfield. Cola left behind. Ooh, new oh, cola. Grab a couple of those gas cans for the boat motor. Two should work. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> we just magically appear. Oh, well, let's drink the quantum, because, I mean, clearly, he told me to have a Nuka Cola. I'm going to have a Nuka Cola. And have one of those quantums. Why am I looking at weapons for a Nuka Cola? Hey, nice cold one at that. Nice. All right, two of you. Got it. Anything else we should maybe grab in here before we're out and, you know, in an area where things are probably going to be awful? <laughs> Free more money. Oh my god, look at all the things. Oh my god, they're all still ice cold. Take them! Take them! <laughs> oh, why couldn't this be bourbon or something? Alright, well, there we go. I'll take all that too. This is probably going to make me over encumbered, maybe. Come on, keep clicking. Moldy food. No, don't need that. Jangles! Hey, Jangles. Alright. Yeah, no, I'm good with everything else in here, I think. Dead guy. Alright, we're fine. Oh, that the... Jeez, really? Yes. Th there's no engine on it! There's no engine! Why do we need gas? Alright, let's loot all these things before we leave. Okay. Oh, I guess... Oh, there's an engine. I guess we're going to grab that, huh? Alright, well... Yeah. Hi, Cal. That is what we're supposed to do, right? Talk to him now. Bring two gas cans to Cal. Hey! <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Well, if that's all, then let's get going. The ride should be pretty smooth, but we're a couple hours out from Ipswich. Got it. Why don't you try to get some rest on the way there? I'll wake you up when we've arrived. Wonderful. I mean, we're, I have no choice in the matter. We're just fading to black again. Well, it really was a hard cut to black, but still. Still. Yay, Ipswich. Nice. I'm looking forward to Spooky. Hey, wake up. We're here. Thank you. Oh, but don't make too much noise. There are some barrels on the other side of the river. Oh. So, here we are. Welcome to Ipswich. Uh-huh. Trivia tidbit number one. It's crawling with those damn ferals. Oh, okay. Now then, let's get down to business. Our best bet for finding this sub is the National Guard compound to the east. Right. It'll be a bit of a hike, but it's a wildlife I'm worried about. Which is why it pains me to say it, but we need to split up. Wait, why? I need you to search the National Guard checkpoint for anything we can use. Weapons, stim packs, even info on old terminals can help. You know, I have a whole armory while with me. That, I'll scope out the compound in the east. Besides, the treasure won't find itself. So let's get to it. Would, would you like a gun? I mean, oh, bye. Never mind. Bye, Cal. Try not to die. <laughs> All right, we've completed Journey to Ipswich. Now we are hunting the Nautilus. Ooh, search Elmwood subdivision. Hello. Oh, we don't have a custom map. Ah, oh, dang. I was hoping for a custom map. All right, so there's Elmwood. And there's Market Street Checkpoint. Well. <laughs> Cal's already fighting something. All right, he's on his own. He made his choice. Oh, yeah, we did grab that engine. Oh, my God. Can I click it to go back? <gasps> Single-use panic button. I kind of want to push it. Well, quick save. <laughs> Let me, it, it just took me back to the Commonwealth, didn't it? It just took me back to the Commonwealth. Ah, there we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. But I was hoping with it called a panic button, maybe it would do something a bit more interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, worth it, though. Worth it. Okay, well, let's go across the water here. I'm a little sad we don't have a map. Wait, hold on. Maybe there was... Maybe the mod makers here have done something like Zorkaz usually does and gives us a map in our, like, inventory we can use that we gotta find. It's not looking like it, but I am seeing a lot of things on the compass. Alright, oh god, all over the place. Hmm. Well, across the water we go. Let's search in the town first. 
Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see you right there. Never mind. Oh, he's not dead! Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that means they're tougher if one shot when they're on the ground doesn't kill them. Yep. Are you gonna... Are you gonna attack or are you just... He just... Crawled inside the container. Well, in that case... Now he's dead. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh god, there's more! There's more! There's more! Oh, he's jumping out of that truck. Take out the leg. Okay. 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 There we go. He's on the ground. Oh, there's another one. I see more red. They're gonna come out of everywhere, aren't they? He did say there's a lot of ferals here. <laughs> oh, boy. Also, man, I need to turn down my volume again since we're not talking to Cal now. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Uh, take out the legs. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. <sighs> of course, I'm irradiated now. Freaking hell. 10 millimeter pistol, don't care. Ooh, hello. There we go. Take them bottle caps. Alright, so what are we looking for in here? We got an up, so I guess in that house, maybe? Oh, boy. Is there an in to said house? Oh. Oh, it's just like search this area in general. Okay. Oh, I missed! There we go. Oh, there's another. He had a friend. He had a friend. I've missed every shot. Oh, God. There was a third. <laughs> you know, I'm just going for the head. You're, you're lower level. There we go. Oh, God. Basically put it into his mouth. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So we're just randomly looking around this suburb then for things. Oh, my God. Everything's locked up. Oh, a little more. No less. Nice. A Brahmin skull for some reason. Don't need that. Summer shorts. Not with my legs. <laughs> oh. Well. On to my 500th bobby pin. <laughs> hey. Got it. All right. I'll take that. No, nothing good. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we're just generally rolling around this place looking for things. Nothing specific. Ooh, maybe something in that house. Let's check that. Oh, hi, you! There we go. Alright, what do we got in here? Nope. Nope. Razor grain, couldn't care less. Stims, I'll definitely take. Perfect. Alright, yeah, nothing in this house of value. It'd be nice to know what we were looking for in this place. Oh god, oh god, oh, you're the tougher ones. Back outside. <laughs> well, that didn't do much, Tim. Oh, they're kind of stuck in the house a little bit there. Nice. All right. All right. Okay. They, they, yeah, their their pathing isn't great in here. Their pathing isn't great. <laughs> there we go. They're both on the ground now. All right. Time to die. Beautiful. Oh God. Now he mutates. Ah, Jesus. God, I hate those cavalier knuckles. Don't care. Hate melee. Uh, you know what? Some of these ones are fairly tough. Maybe I should be using my, uh, problem solver. Uh, nothing here. Can't get in that house or this house. There was another wrecked one here. No, nothing there. Oh, God, that's not gonna get him on the- Oh, God, one falling from the ceiling! Oh, Jesus! 
Okay, okay, out I go, out the door I go. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that one's down. There we go. Jesus freaking ghouls, man. So, I mean, seriously though, what are we doing in here? Hello, stuff. Alright, no, don't care for that. Take that. You have the pre war money too. Another master lock safe. Ow. Dang. Ooh, little more. Ooh, little more. Got it. That's it. Alright. I was really expecting to find something of value here, but. So far, nothing. I think we've actually checked all the houses we can physically go into. Huh. So yeah, what are what are we actually looking for in here? That icon definitely just seems to be a generic one up in the sky. What did I just hear? Did I check this house? I don't think I did. Nope, there's ghouls still alive in there. And... No, that one's already dead. Yeah, I heard something moan a moment ago. Oh my god, a turn... Jesus. <laughs> of course, the final house we look at is the one with the freaking terminal in it. Of course it is. Of course it is! Alright, well, I think this is going to be a good place to end. I will unlock these off cam, and we will read Willie Carter's terminal in the next episode and get on going then to the National Guard outpost there. See how everything rolls, but I, I am pleased thus far with this. I'm still waiting for it to get spooky, but, I mean, we'll... We'll see. But hopefully you have enjoyed this one today and you come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. Have a good one.